previously on Tokyo Dark. That's my right, girl! I know I can count on you not to stand in the way of true love. I'll be right back because you have condoms. Watch out, Bando. Saki's coming for you. The mask in my hands. I could go out the station and jump on the first train back to Shinjuku. Back to the alley where the whole mess had started. Something told me that there was more to find in the sewer. The mask itself could wait until, until later. As the train made its way there, images and thoughts from the from the night engulfed me. I started to feel queasy. Why stop? Why am I? Why am I stopped approach? When I stopped approach, the pit in my gut changed from fear to something else. I realized I had I had enough of, of other people telling me what to feel or how to act. I didn't want. I didn't know what what to expect, but I knew that was the only that that, that ugh, I knew that I was the only one who can give me any sense of uh, closure was myself. Yes. I love closure. It's perfect. I love wearing clothes. Oh, wait, that's not what you're talking about? Oh, well, never mind. Alright. Oh, I wonder if I can go in here. I wonder if he's here. Hello? Creepy guy, are you in here? Oh, it's her again, the hostess. Uh, Leon? I think this is you. Uh, you again? Take it easy. I saw what you did to go to the bar the other night. I don't want any trouble. You can relax, I'm off duty. Besides, you know as well as I I do, that guy was a scumbag. Making him wet his pants was only the, was the only way of getting anything useful out of him. <laughs> Can't exactly argue with that, but scum or not, he's a big earner. You could have been a bit more gentle. Heh, <laughs> sorry. It's fine, I'm sure he'll be back eventually, whether I want him to be or not. Anyway, I, uh, I heard on the news about what happened to you and your partner that night. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Thanks. I didn't think I didn't figure you care much much about what happened to a cop. All things considered. All things considered. Considering what my job is true, police come in here all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me, and fill me up, thinking I don't care. My boss tells me to ignore it since happy cops are good for business. Honestly, they're worse than the customers that they're supposed to protect us from. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that doesn't make me a robot. Nobody deserves to die alone. If you told your buddies at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, some nobody hostess, do you think they'd give a shit? I would care. Yeah. I wish I could say you're wrong, but years in the force have taught me that being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be human just because some government offic official gave them a badge. How long have you been doing this job? Not long, only about two years and four different shops. They all promise the same things, better pay and customers that will treat you with respect. I'm still waiting on both those things, but this has been in the pits lately and I've gotten some offers that might pay better, but... But? But they're at clubs with more of an adult vibe. They said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm not surprised, considering the fact of how big your cleavage is. Uh, <clears throat> I've uh, heard rumors about what can happen to some of the girls in those places. Country girl like me doesn't, doesn't exactly have a whole lot of job prospects, and it'd be good money. This one's easy. Don't do it. But... Ever heard the phrase, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Uh, no, not really. Well, you've learned it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, take it from me. No one's going out of their way to help you, but that doesn't mean you can you can't help yourself. Just think it over before you say yes to that offer, okay? To think, I'd be getting better. I'd be getting advice from a cop. All right, I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah, it's Mayho. Don't tell anyone though. The bosses don't like it when customers know our real names. Between us girls, I've wanted to slam Goto into a wall for months. See you around, detective. He's actually a nice girl. It's just... Sometimes people are in just bad situations, you know? And they're just yep. doing what they can, you know? Hey! You! Daiso! Oh! Hello, detective. I, uh, I heard about what happened last night after the other police and reporters showed up. I'm really sorry to hear about your partner. I can't even imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Thanks, Daiso, right? Yep, that's me. I'm surprised you remembered that, detective. 
No need for detective. I'm not on duty. Ayame is fine. How's things? Did that, did that night hurt your business too? In all honesty, business wasn't exactly better or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little uptick when, uh, when reports were here. But eventually they left too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant uphill struggle. What's the point? Don't give up. I know, I know it might not mean much coming from me, but I believe you should stick st stick it out to the end, no matter what. A lot ha a lot of it comes down to attitude, right? If you st if you stay down the dumps, people will take will taste that emotion in the food. That's something no amount of alcohol can mask. Yeah, I, I guess I've been beating myself up for weeks now. Maybe that's not helping, right? I mean, I'm still competing with scumbags around here, but I'll try and keep my head above the water for now. Thanks, Detect uh, De Ayami. Stop by again any time. Drinks on the house. Thanks, Daiso. I'll take you up on that one day. Yay! I'm making friends. Making best friends. I'm gonna have a girls' night with Miho. Come to Daiso's. Be great. Perfect for business. Miho, have you given your name out to one of our customers? You dirty slut! <laughs> <laughs> for such a, gr a grimy looking door, that sure is a fancy look without the code. There's no way I'm getting in. Well, I already know that. The smell of rotten meat, phone ringing over and over. Rena, did, all did that already happen? Probably. You never really know this kind of situation. Is she gonna be in here again? Oh, it's him again. Uh, oh, hey! It's not, isn't that the detective from the overnight? I was wondering if she remembers me. That detective is right here, and I can hear you. She's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. Uh, what? How'd you know my name? It's on your name tag. Don't think too hard about it, kid. You might hurt yourself. Anyways, I'm just, like, surprised you need to talk to me again. I don't. I'm just passing through. Oh, right. That's good. I think I already said anything I could to that other guy. Would have had to rack my brain pretty hard with some of my with some with new material, you know? What other guy? Taito? Titus? Typhoon? Tyra? Detective Tyra was here? What did you tell him? Oh, right, Tyra, yeah, I told him you were here and you were pretty hardcore and stuff. You told him I was hardcore? What does that mean exactly? You know, I told him you were like a cop and like didn't play by the rules. Who had a drink if they wanted to, like, you know, take the edge off and stuff. You told him I- Shit, what else did you say? Uh, not much else to tell. I told him I heard a firecracker outside before you came in and out uh, about the broken lock, and now you said you've been seeing a strange girl? I mean, nothing bad. How does he know about me taking a drink and all that, though? Has this guy been spying on me? No, he does. He did say that your breath smelled like alcohol. Oh, right, you got that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Whoa, you got, like, all intense there for a sec. That's nothing. Just dust in my eyes. Painful, stupid, idiotic dust that is causing me to squint. Harshly. Oh yeah, detective, you should be careful. Uh, it's like super dusty in here, man. Is this guy like fucking... Is this guy like oblivious? He's like some freaking straight up anime character from a harem. Thank you. I'm going to leave now. Enjoy your day. Put him on my hit list. What? <laughs> the police team is all, all that's left of the department's investigation. They're more focused on writing, writing me off as insane than finding answers in the sewer. Well, I'm going anyway. It's now or never. No more excuses. I need to look around and find out what really happened that night. Time to act. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, he got rid of the boss. Yeah. <laughs> 
Please tell me there's no more naked pictures of that guy. Let's find naked pictures of that guy. <laughs> the ass still fe feels as heavy and stale as it did the night the night I came in here looking for Kazuki. Doesn't look like much has changed since then. I'm not sure why I expect any any anything different. Even if it turns out to be nothing, I should have a look around and see what I can find. I've already come this far anyway. You are right. We have nowhere else to go. We got no more leads. Shrine Gate. No one seems to question whether Shrine Gate was down here or who put it here in the first place. Yuki Boy said that it wasn't it wasn't relevant to the case. Ah, so he says. Red marks. Rena is stuck on the wall. Guide. Lead me down there. Climb down the ladder. They could they could have at least used a different rope to get down there. Touching it one touching it once was enough for one lifetime. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, well. Guess I got no choice. Tell it took the grimy rope with the fucking body sweat of fucking Goto. Remember <laughs> <laughs> me of that fucking thing I did for, like, the second video? <laughs> oh, God, it was so funny, that. Alright. Let's make our way down here. Maybe it was, maybe it was a mistake to come here. What's left for me here are horrible memories. But I saw Venna, a girl who couldn't possibly arrive in this tunnel. I'm sure of it. You can more than the others didn't see what I saw. I have to keep going. There's no more... There's, there's, there's something I have to do. Oh. More paint? The reports on that night never mentioned this. Could they have missed something so obvious? Is this like the, is this like the Silent Hill thing with James going down several holes? Because I feel like that's what's going on here. Me, I wasn't. Me, I wasn't so far off, at the, far off the mark after all. Climb down the hole. If Rena used this hack, I might be able to find some proof to take to, take to Yukimo and put his doubts to rest. I don't believe you. You were on the cameras. You did everything. You broke and took evidence. You you made all this up like Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're clearly stressed and going crazy, and you need to go to jail. Rats. I gotta wait for the light to come back on. Alright, there we go. Turn these fucking things on. Which is weird though, because you would think that turn these things on would keep turn them off. What the hell was that? Why is it referring back to this? Oh, what the hell? Wait, what? Oh, it's like a puzzle. Huh? Is this some sort of trick? It looks like the same way I, same as the way I came in. Does that have something to do with the lights? Oh, it's one of it's one of those puzzles. Oh great. I have no idea. I think we need to put I think we need to put on all the lights first. No. Okay, I may have an idea. What if, and just out of curiosity, what if? Okay, no. What the, what the hell? That's not possible. Calm down. The lights are flashing in some sort of order. Maybe there might be some something to it. Oh my god, my investigation went down so much. All right. There's like some red writing around that one light. There, there's, there's like red hand prints. Yeah. Does that mean I have to press like three times? If I do it, if I'm not careful, I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna lock my investigation thing down. I mean, it's fine for the moment, but still. But what does the handprints mean? This one doesn't turn on at all. Oh, wait, that just gotta be. Oh, one, two. Wait a minute. I wonder. Oh, yes! I, oh, I figured it out. The handprint was a clue about how many times it actually flashes. That makes sense. Well, I feel stupid. Well, I didn't lose that much investigation thing, so it's not like it's a huge deal. Oh. What the hell? Rena? What is this doing here? Why would you leave this behind? Wait a second. 
But did you see that? It looked like she had a twin. Yeah, it did. I that it could have been a camera shot, like Photoshop. But if it is a twin, that would make sense. The door seems stuck. You have to pry it open. There are cases where there have been people that are, like, where it's like there is a twin. Yeah, I gotta go and find a crowbar. Hello, I'm looking for a crowbar. Would what the feck? What's that noise? Shit, the hacks is closed. I'm trapped. This isn't good. I have to get out of here. Feck. A uh, ladder. No. Uh. Oh no. That's not real. It's not real. It's just it, it's it's an episode. Like the doctor said, it's not real. Kazuki said it wasn't real. Yeah, but why is it going dark? Oh no. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love seeing ghosts. Uh... Kazuki? Somehow, somehow I knew I'd find you if I came down here. Wait, don't go. Please, please don't leave me again. Oh, great. I hope this isn't a game over. No, it, it doesn't look like it would be. Yeah, I thought so. Is she still in the hospital? And this always in her head? Oh, I'm actually at home. Okay, it's a black void. Perfect. Just what I need for this situation. Oh, great. That's just good. Where the feck are we now? Oh, we are home. Oh, my head's pounding like it was hit by a tr damn freight train. My room. How did I get back here? I can't remember. The tunnel and those noises in the nightmare all felt as all felt as real as the sheets in this bed. Kazuki. I saw Kazuki, didn't I? If I felt like he said something to me. What was it? But how did I get home? I was in Shijuku, and I went to the sewer, and then, and then what? Maybe Tanaka was right. I pushed myself too hard. At this rate, I'll burn out if I'm not careful. Yeah, I'm getting my meds. It's that picture again. 1996. Wait. Yeah, look, it's 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 on a jumbo screen. So it is. But 1996. What what year is this supposed to take place in? Okay, must be ta okay. I have to okay. This must take place in 2017. It has to because of the technology and all that. So this girl's been alive for 11 years, and she should be older. What's this? The photo from the station for the tunnel? It's impossible. That can't be. It was a nightmare, a delusion. It wasn't real. I must have picked it up at the station, but no. I've never seen this before. Why can't I remember? Could have been real. If it was, then that means Kazuki really is out there, somewhere just like Rena was. Why is why this picture? Why this photo? Some sort of stage performance? Anyway, there's no doubt about it. That's Rena, all right. Maybe someone will recognize her. My mind is racing. I need to take a moment to get get my thoughts together before I do anything rash. Yes, like get pills. Take all of the drugs. No, I don't. I don't want to talk to my Wait, cat. Did you see dust coming from the ceiling? Yeah, I saw it for a second. Hey, Lady Fluff, you don't want to get up either, huh? I don't blame no. you. If I could sleep my days away like you, I probably would. The thing is, if I stay here, I won't have any chance of finding him. I saw him, Fluff, last night, sort of. Anyway, I don't understand it, but he's really out there somewhere. I'm the only one who can bring him home. No one else will believe me. Yumi, do you know how early it is? Oh, I'm sorry, Yumi. I heard you were up and the door was open, so I let myself in. Oh, okay. Uh, do you need something? No, no. I figured I'd call her to uh, check in on you. Things have been so quiet that with that Tadaka. I thought you might be lonely. Say, where were you last night? I was before you didn't hear anything. I don't know. I mean, 
Um, I had a late night. You know how these things can get, right? Sorry if I worried you. You sure you didn't hear me come in? Oh, feck! Earthquake! Meow! Whoa! That was another big one, was it? They've been more frequent lately, huh? Oh no, please don't tell me this game's gonna end with a freaking boss battle with Cthulhu. What if something were to happen to you? Well, if I didn't know where you were, you could see why I'd be worried. Yes, I can tell you're worried with your little cat face. Yeah. Yumi, you don't have to look after me. I can manage. Don't say that. We're neighbors. It's my job to look after you. Who's going to take care of you if I don't? I'm okay, really. I should probably get ready soon, though. Right, right. I can take a hint. But Yami don't work too late, right? I better take my pills. The pills that the doctor gave me right on the table where Kazuki left them. Count on him to pester me about my health even when he's gone. I hate these pills, but I, I'll keep taking them. For your sake. Jesus. Oh, my sanity went back up and my, in my investigation went down. So where am I at right now? My sanity took a freaking massive drop. I'm like five away from being out where I was before. My investigation took a shot in the dark. The roses is kind of down. All right, we really have to... Investigative is still focused, but... Yeah. Take another pill. Doctor said if I, can, if I keep taking medication, things will get better. Oh, you can take another one. Oh. Oh, I only got one. All right, no more. No more pills. I'm not going to become a druggie. Oh. Take a more pill, head. So we can go back to my apartment. Kazuki and I chose an apartment in in, in Shinagawa that was far away from the, Yam the, Yamano the Yamanote line in order to cut down living co cut costs. Despite everything that's happened, it's still home. Lady Flufferton is there and I can check on my laptop and on the all the pills or take my pills. Can I go back home then? No. Alright, so hmm. Sujuku could consider the commercial heart of, of Tokyo's metropolitan as well as its seedy underbelly. It's also the location of that quite quite back alley where I chased Kazuki and where my life almost fell apart. Center of investigation in the city, Tokyo Metropolitan Police Headquarters. My office is nearby in the building. Is in the nearby building. As I am not on active duty, I won't have to access the main building. But it may be useful to check in with Saki if I needed something. We should probably go and see Saki. She probably. I want to know about what her. What the fuck did you do, you bitch? I did nothing. What are you talking about? Hi. I saw you in camera having the breaking in while having a uh, relations. <laughs> Ayami, what the hell are you doing here? Get out of here before someone notices you! I saw what you did, pulling the arm, sneaking into the evidence locker. Did you honestly think I wouldn't notice? Lucky for you, I'm the only one that noticed, and I'm not gonna tell you what, but seriously, what the hell were you thinking? You've always been nice to me, you covered for me, I owe you, so now you are even. Wait, no, you owe me big time for this! Big time! That the bando guy had a big one! And you cock blocked me when you fucking pulled the alarm! Yeah, what the hell? Sorry, what? I wasn't paying attention. I'm not gonna ask you why you did what you did for once. I don't think I want to know my opinion. Get some help with whatever you're going working through instead of pulling crazy stunts like that! Anyways, I can't let you into the building. No, my call. That came from Yukimura. He said he not to let any non-active officers in the building. I don't know. I don't think he knows. But you need to be more careful. Hey? I don't think I'll get any more out of Saki. I should go. <laughs> well, bye. Who was that person? Fucking bitch. Who was that person? Like, she she takes the medication that doesn't even know who anyone is anymore. Alright. Only one thing to do. If if last night happened, that means... That means we can get some information from her. Oh, 
Good day. Here I am working the morning shift because my boss doesn't like me talking to cops all the time. And what do I find? A cop here bright and early to talk to me. Assume you're looking for something? Something like that. Have something we can chat ch chat off the record. <sighs> well, I know how this goes by now. You're going to stand there until I tell you something. So what do you want? Here, have a look at this. There's a possibility that she was around this area when Tanaka was taken. A great detective like yourself must know how many girls pass through this part of town on a nightly basis. I'm well aware. Lucky for you, I'm not asking about all the girls, just this one. Well, what do you expect then? How would I remember something like that? It's kind of hard to make out, but the girl has red hair if that helps. Red hair, huh? Oh yeah, that changes everything, except it doesn't. What's your point? Well, I think I might have seen a few seen her a few weeks ago doing the um incident, so Ah chat my ass. You're still working. Well let me help you. Your little picture there says nineteen ninety six on it. So I'm pretty sure whoever gave that to you is pulling your leg. Not sure what they're paying you for, if someone like me could tell you that. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to work. Hey, hold on. We were just starting up the conversation here. What exactly do you want me to say? I can't lie to you, can I? Well, I could, but you'd only come back here again. Ignore the date. It might not even be a date. It could be a room it could be like a room number or a password for all I know, so think hard. Honestly, I don't think there's any other way to say I don't know that I haven't already said. This girl wouldn't have just been another it wouldn't have just This girl wouldn't have wouldn't have been just an, another girl. She would have stood out. So think, my gut tells me she passed through here. All right, I'll put my thinking cap on. Ready? Hmm. <laughs> You're messing with me, right? You're messing with me now, aren't you? Who? Me? Why ever would you think that? <laughs> as fun as this is, I'm not lying to you. I don't know her is all. And trust me, if telling you to get you out of my hair, I would. Anything else I can help you with? For you a good morning drink. No, for look like an F. Poor. The papers are saying you might be crazy. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Miho. I thought we were friends, but I understand that you want to keep confidentiality and not get fired from your boss. So I will respect that. I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm the only one that's not crazy. <laughs>